Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's not time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney, but it's time for a dose of Dismal DreamWorks. Apparently, DreamWorks is going to significantly cut their staff in the coming months, mm -hmm. according to Cartoon Brew. This isn't surprising. No. Um, in fact, they made the comment before, uh, I think it was last year, last fall, that they were going to shift away from in-house production in L.A. Uh, we have Disney outsourcing to Canada now. They actually opened up a studio in Vancouver, and that's where Moana 2 is being developed. And I think it's very expensive for animation to happen in LA. And, and you know, these companies want to make a profit, especially with all the stuff coming out on streaming. They want to mm -hmm. make a profit. And there's been a lot of stuff that's come out that hasn't made money. So uh, let's, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an exclusive from Cartoon Brew. So... Uh, hat tip to them and go out and, and uh, check out the original article. But uh, they said, yeah, DreamWorks Animation to significantly cut staff in the coming months. And this is as Kung Fu Panda is actually doing pretty well at the box office, I guess. Kung mm -hmm. Fu Panda 4 uh, might actually beat Dune. We don't know for sure who's in charge, but they're talking that might beat Dune this weekend. But they also put out, you know, Ruby Gilman. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, which didn't do very well. So, like, for every Kung Fu Panda, for every Shrek, even... Um, Puss in Boots 2 didn't do... I, I don't know if it did super well at the box office. I actually thought Puss in Boots 2 was really, really good. I gotta see this. It was I, good. I have, I have not watched it yet. I, I was like, wow, this is like the second best Shrek movie. The first is, is Shrek 2, obviously, but this is this is the second best Shrek movie, and I was surprised. I did not expect it to be that good, but it was, so there you go. Yeah, they said that they're firing on all cylinders. Kung Fu Panda 4 is doing really well at the box office this weekend. Um, the new teaser for the wild robot. Oh, it looks so good. It does look really good. Really. I don't, I don't know how it's going to do theatrically to be honest with you, but I, I it's beautiful. Now, Chris Sanders, that's uh, how train your dragon and Lilo and stitch. Mm. And, uh, he's doing the wild robot and yeah, the trailer is really good. And I, I can tell this is, this movie is going to be a gut punch. I think that, you know, it's going to be one of those like super emotional movies and you're not going to be the same after you watch it. But yeah, they said that the mood inside the studio was glum this week. An untold number of workers were informed they would be let go. Uh, the studio insists that no one's being laid off. It is, as DreamWorks Animation Chief Operating Officer Randy Lake put it, an instance of downsizing through natural attrition. Right. They said they weren't going to, they were not going to renew contracts. They said the problem is a lot of people didn't get contract renewals. Yeah. And this has happened before. I know there were a couple of guys that were working in comics that uh worked for dreamworks too i remember about 10 years ago and and they, yeah how they do it they don't actually fire you because very few people are like full-time staff you know they, they're basically contracted movie to movie or project to project and that's that's kind of how it works so the, yeah they're just we parted ways yeah <laughs> we parted ways the sheer number of people whose contracts aren't being renewed has demoralized staffers and left many wondering about the future direction of the studio uh, there are no specific numbers on how many people are being let go. The number is well into the hundreds. Uh, many departments are being cut in half, and the creative staff on features could be reduced by as much, if not more than 40 to 50%. That's a lot. That's a lot. Holy hell. Uh, so here's, I mean, this is a multi-layered problem. And you were just talking the Gina Carano, Carano video, which I don't know which order we're going to post these in, but about Shrek's Onion. Mm -hmm. and it is because we've got AI which is going to make things easier, you know, the, at least like in betweening and stuff like that, you know, uh, grunt work basically is going to be uh, outsourced, I think, to, to bot forms. But they've also been experimenting with overseas animation anyway, because, mm -hmm. you know, I talked about Puss in Boots. Well, the original Puss in Boots, most of it was animated in India, if I remember correctly, or it was rendered in India. And they outsourced a lot of animation over there. And they're probably like, well, <laughs> yeah, we could do it a lot cheaper. And I hate to drag unions into it, but that is probably part of it because U.S. animators are, are expensive and they're getting more expensive. Canada has tax credits, tax breaks for animation. Again, you know, countries like India and the Philippines and, uh, you know, even uh, Korea, South Korea, it's, it's uh, cheaper to, to get the animation done. They unfortunately don't pay their people very well, but the Hollywood studios looking at the bottom line. And we know that all these studios are freaking out over money 
And they're going to look at and be like, yeah, we can, you know, spend $200 million on a movie that might make 500 million or we can spend 75 million or a hundred, you know, but I'm saying like just saying in production costs or whatever, and uh, then put more money toward the, the voice talent or the marketing or whatever. And when you've got duds like, you know, Ruby Gilman, it makes it more attractive to, to do this. So why are so many people being let go? A rep explained that DreamWorks has multiple large productions, Kung Fu Panda 4 and the Wild Robot that are winding down. Well, Kung Fu Panda 4 is in theaters now and the Wild yeah. Robot's coming later this yeah, year. Yeah, so it's pretty much done. Right. The timing of new projects doesn't sync up with the end dates of these current productions. While the studio works to minimize the gaps, sometimes the dates don't align. Now, they're saying that people might be brought back like in 2025, they're saying. But for now, they don't have any, you know, big features coming out until 2026. Yeah, DreamWorks told Cartoon Brew that the film was never greenlit. Oh, this the, is another, a, another me. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a Bollywood themed film. So it wasn't technically canceled. However, multiple studio workers confirmed to us that they were told last month by department heads there would be significant reductions in staff due to this particular project moving forward. So this is also happening. Um, again, as part of just downsizing in general, animation is incredibly expensive. So what we're going to see happen is a lot of studios backpedaling on previously announced, I think, animation projects uh, because they're going to be like, yeah, they're expensive and they're really hit or miss if they they work. Right. So down here to talk about they don't have any big things planned for being worked on in 2025. If you go down to, well, the studios or hire people, they're saying workers have been told that the studio hopes to return to normal size in 2025, but it is unlikely that it'll grow again to its current size anytime in the near future. And it's not just DreamWorks. It's also Disney. It's mm-hmm. also uh, Cartoon Network is like, I don't even know what's up with Cartoon Network. I don't know what's up with Adult, Adult Swim. We didn't talk about that in a separate video, but they just took all of their games out of Steam off yeah. the App Store. They've delisted everything. And it feels to me like Warner Brothers especially is just like they're just like noping out of animation. Well, if you look at the last part here, talking about cutting the cost, we've talked about this before. They're outsourcing parts of some of its productions to third-party studios in other countries, including yes. studio, in, in other studios include Sony Pictures and ImageWorks in Canada, Jellyfish Pictures in the UK, and Micros Animation in India and Canada. And we talked about that previously. Um, you have that pulled up, actually, with the DreamWorks shifting away. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So um, this was last fall. I uh, mean, yeah, we did a video on this last. We last did. Year. But, um, yeah, they're, they're just like really pulling back on everything. Same with, um, with Netflix, Netflix made a huge deal right before the pandemic that they were going to go all in on animation. They went and they, they, uh, rented or bought this huge compound. They were pulling people away from Disney and DreamWorks. And we kind of saw the beginnings of that. We saw like the Mitchells versus the machines and we saw Klaus and we saw some really, really good stuff coming out of Netflix. And then they just started like canceling all these projects Mm -hmm. because it's expensive. Animation is expensive. It's time consuming. And they have to be looking at this like, you know, how much bang for the buck are you actually going to get on most of this stuff? Because for every hit you have, you have a lot of misfires and it takes years for this stuff to actually get through the pipeline. Whereas they can be, be like, Hey, let's put a fraction of that money into reality TV and we'll get the same amount, if not more people watching it. And that's the mindset, you know? So it's not going to be good. It's not gonna be good for uh, animation fans or people working in the industry right now. Um, Yeah, so uh, this was um, last fall. DreamWorks is going to handle all the creative front of, uh, you know, different projects of sequels, but they're going to outsource a lot of the animation to overseas. How does this affect DreamWorks in-house staff? Uh, During Lake's presentation of workers, he indicated the Comcast NBC Universal owned studio wanted to reduce production costs by 20%. Well, now they're talking like 50% of people are gone. Workers at DreamWorks are concerned that this new partnership with ImageWorks reflects the new reality of the studio. Yeah, well, yeah, it was going to reflect it then. We told you it was a bad thing and not, you know, not yeah. to hold your breath on that one. DreamWorks is no longer going to fully produce any of its but they kept spinning it. They kept spinning it to like, oh, it's just going to be people that are, you know, they're natural attrition. But then they're not renewing. So that's just it. Like your contract, they, they made it sound like, oh, people who just don't want to come back, you know, we won't fill those positions. Disney did the same thing. But then they're just can't if people's contracts are up there. It's like, oh, well, we're not renewing. Disney said the same thing and then they just didn't renew people. Yeah. And I have to wonder, they said that their uh, 15 acre campus, that they're going to possibly lease part of it out and they're going to consolidate staff. I still think before it's all said and done that we will see Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios merge. 
uh, under one roof mm -hmm. because it doesn't make sense, especially when Pixar. Now, I don't know how uh, Inside Out's going to do, but they're, they haven't been bringing it. No. And uh, it doesn't justify. Again, this is something Disney acquired, but it does not justify a separate campus for them when they're bringing less to the table than, than Disney is, honestly, and they're not even bringing a whole lot. But uh, yeah, they said that um, this is the statement. Back then, the industry is facing a more challenging box office environment and the cost of making creatively ambitious animated films has increased to reduce production costs while maintaining quality. DreamWorks is defying a new feature production module where a portion of the asset and shot work will be performed by partner studios on a case-by-case, budget-dependent basis. The strategy will be implemented for feature films released in 2025 and, and beyond. And uh, yeah, that means a lot of grunt work. Basically, if you're a... Uh, screenwriter or a you know uh, director producer whatever that stuff will still be done here but then they're just gonna it's kind of like animated series they're just gonna do a lot of the work here and then they're gonna ship it overseas I mean that's just kind of how it is and um, I think they're also looking at it too they're like hey the Mario movie did really really good and you guys aren't bringing it like you used to so and that was Illumination which is also NBC Universal so as long as you're making money you're fine but the DreamWorks stuff isn't making money like it used to so we're going to wrap it up. Yep. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.